In chapter 2, it states that decades ago, Jim Cummings pointed out a broad distinction between academic and conversational language, coining the terms cognitive academic language proficiency, also known as CALP, and basic interpersonal communication skills, also known as BIC. When looking back at the four quadrant framework, some examples of BICs would be talking on a telephone, face-to-face -face conversations such as dates or family, dinner time, lunchroom conversations with students, things like that that are very um, interpersonal and they uh, are context reduced really. Some examples of CALP would be reading textbooks, listening to lectures, assuming that it's being comprehended, reading roadmaps, doing math homework, and taking standard tests. Cummins proposed that the best way for a student to develop CALP in their second language was to first develop CALP in their primary language. In fact, students may not be able to develop second language CALP until they have first reached some minimum threshold in their primary language. In a journal by James Byland, it states, from a Vygotskyan perspective, CALP is more than simple developmental extension of BICS. CALP is a qualitatively different use of language from that represented by BICS. CALP is not simply language, but is the intersection of thought and language processes. In an article titled Defining and Teaching Academic Language by uh, Susan Rainey, says, drawing on Cummins' concept of Quadrant B, some approaches to teaching ELLs focus on providing instruction pairing high cognitive challenge with high contextual support through the use of visuals, face-to-face -face interaction, and the activation of background knowledge. The use of general strategies for scaffolding academic content, such as graphic organizers, comprehensible input, background knowledge, and cognitive and metacognitive strategies has been described of ways of, as ways of teaching. Um, academic language. Here are some strategies to make content comprehensible. Ultimately, in order to achieve count, students need to be able to connect the language to the content. This process can be made easier if they already have some background knowledge in language one.